afternoon to all of my math friends out there in TV land. It's time for Math Homework Helpers. Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> to Math Homework Helpers. This is a show where we get to help you with your math homework and give you prizes just for calling in. Sounds like a plan to me. With us today are two wonderful teachers. From Pinewood Elementary School, we have the fantastic Mrs. Hank. And from Dundalk Middle School, we have the superb Mr. Kara. Hey, Max. Yeah. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? Oh, man, you bet I did. Ali, Polly, and I all got together with our new turkey friend and had the best meal ever. We even had my favorite surprise dessert. Oh, that yeah. sounds wonderful. Oh, what was, was really your good. surprise dessert? Oh, it's a, it's a dessert I make every Thanksgiving, but I have to say I think I really nailed it this year. Yeah, really got the recipe right. That's wonderful, Max, but we want to know what the surprise dessert actually was. Oh, well, well, I can't tell you that. It's a surprise. If I told anyone, it wouldn't be a surprise anymore. So did Ollie and Polly at least know what the surprise was since they were the ones that were supposed to be enjoying the dessert? <laughs> Why, Mrs. Hake, you are so silly. Of course not. If I showed them the dessert, well, like I said, it just wouldn't be a surprise anymore. Wait a minute. Does that mean that none of you even had any of the surprise dessert? Bingo, Mr. Kara. You're always on the money on that. There are so few real surprises in this world. Why spoil it? You know what I mean? You puppets are a crazy lot. Oh, yes, Let's thank you. Let's get the show started. If this is your first time watching, you should know that we have prizes. All you have to do is call into the show with a math question, and then you will have a chance to win one of our four very cool prizes nice. from our Math Homework Helpers Puck to Pick a Prize wall. Mr. Kara, what are our prizes today? This week's prizes are a crazy pen, mm. a notebook, a pencil pack and slime. Oh, Whoa. the slime! The teachers love the yes, slime! Yes, we do. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, oh, and don't forget that after we help our callers with their math problem, we'll drop the puck on the puck to pick a prize wall, and the caller will win whatever the prize the puck lands on. That sounds great. Let's get things moving and go to the phones. The phone number to call is 410-494. <laughs> One four five nine. There it is. The number again is four one zero four nine four one four five nine. Max, who is our first caller today? It just so happens that Aya from Norwood Elementary School is our first caller. Aya, are you there? Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. It's getting cold outside, isn't it? Yeah. Are you looking forward to some snow this winter? No, but I hate snow. Whoa! Oh, oh man! <laughs> wow. We do not get that type of response that often. Not often. But that's okay because you know what? I do love math and sometimes when it snows I can't get to my math classes. So Aya, what is your math question for us today? Um, How many hours of lightning were, was used by the locker room and swimming pool together? Hmm. Can, you, can you say that again? How many hours of lightning was by the locker room and swimming pool okay. together. Okay. The okay. hours of lighting, Aya? Yeah. Okay. okay, awesome. So how many hours did the locker room use? Um, nine. Niner. Okay, so it was the locker room, and what was the second place? Huh? The swimming pool? The swimming pool? Um, I love swimming. Five. It's a nice thing to do. Mm -hmm. Five hours, Ara, Aya? Yeah. Okay. Okay, excellent. So, Aya, we want to know how many hours of lighting they used all together? Yeah. Okay, great. So, what operation do you think we're going to use in this problem? Maybe, like, addition. Ah, I think all you right. might be right. So, 
If we have nine hours in the locker room, tell me is, what kind of strategies are your teachers using? Are you drawing pictures? Are you counting up? Maybe you can use pictures. Oh, OK, Ooh, excellent. Okay. So why don't we use a little light bulb? Ooh, what a bright idea. Remember, I'm not an art teacher. <laughs> Okay, so we have nine in the locker room, correct? Yes. All right, these are funny looking light bulbs. Yeah, you might want to invest in some better quality light bulbs down there. One, two, three, oh. four, five, Just kidding, six, oh. seven, huh? eight. I'm just counting up for my nine oh. in the locker room. I like how each one is different. Okay. They that was not unique locker. in their own ways. <laughs> They're like the light bulbs on the Christmas trees. Oh, One, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to add five more to that. Aya, can you count with me? Yeah. So we're at nine, 10, 11, and 12, 13, 13, I love 14, 14. 14. Okay, so we have our nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have our five. So yeah. how many light bulbs, how much, how many hours was that all together, Aya? Yeah. 14. 14 there you go. hours. Did we help you out? Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Well, let's help some more with dropping the puck on the wall. There Here we go. go. Are you ready? Do, 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 do. There it goes. Oh, Ooh, cool, a crazy, crazy pen. pen. Aya will send Fun. a cool, crazy pen out to you. Thanks for calling, kiddo. Bye, Bye. Aya. Man, that crazy pen's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's really fun to write with it because it's all of a sudden you got this, like hand flying in the air when you're writing. It's kind of cool. It's they like can high five people as they write. It's like you're raising your hand and writing at the same time. Let's do it. I like that. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys ready for another caller? Yes. Let's do it. Amber, right. are you there? Yeah. How's Hi, it going? Amber. Good. Wait a minute, you're calling from Norwood, right? Yeah. So do you know Aya? Yeah, she's in my class. Oh. Wow, that's so cool. All right, so what's your question there, kiddo? What is the difference between the running speed of two fastest animals? Hmm. Okay, what two yeah. animals do you have? Um, do you have a table in front of you? Is that a table? Yeah, it's yeah, a right table. There. Okay. And a chair? <laughs> oh, right, wrong table. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so when you hear the word difference, what do you hear right away? What, what operation does that tell you to do? Um, subtract. Subtract, good. So we're going to be subtracting. Yep, excellent. So what are your two highest, um, fastest animals? Um, coyote and cheetah. Oh, I always thought it was the goldfish. Hmm. Coyote, spelled it right. Oh. Right? Did I spell it right? Yeah. Cheetah. H. H. All right. What was the coyote speed? Four, 40. 40 miles per hour? Yep. That's pretty fast. That is pretty fast. And how about the cheetah? The cheetah is 70 miles an hour. 70 Whoa. miles per hour. All right. How would you like to do this? Would you like to count on? Would you like to count back? Uh, I don't know. Just Okay, so we can do it a couple of ways. We can say 40 plus something else will get us to 70, and that'll find us the difference. Or we can say 70 minus 40 would get us some number. I like 40 plus blank equals uh, 70. Okay, so All let's right. think of a basic fact. You have 4 and you have 7. Think 4 plus how much more gets you 7? 30. Plus 3, so that would be 30. So 40 plus 30 equals 70. So is 30 your answer? Yeah. Actually, it's not. It's 30 miles, miles per hour. hour. Yes, that's Bam. your answer. That, hey, we, speaking of speed, we did that one pretty fast. We that did. Very fast. We did. All right, Amber, we're going to drop a fast puck for you now. Okay, hey, here we go. Take it away, Mr. Kara. Wow, that was a fast puck. It's the slime. slime. Woo! Slime alert. All right, Amber, thanks for calling, kiddo. We'll send that slime right out to you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yep. Bye, Bye Amber. Bye.
All right, you guys ready for all? Miss Hake, you're gonna like this. We got one of your students, oh, Roman. Oh, Oh, well, maybe you should take this. Maybe then. I should. Yeah, Roman, are you there? How you doing, Roman? Where is the dog? Roman, hello. We're getting right into business, Miss Hake. Okay. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. Good. I just saw you like an hour ago. Hi. <laughs> That's so cool. I miss you. Aw. <laughs> All right, Roman. What is your question? What? What is your question today? Um, where is the divisor located in the quotient? In Whoa. the division problem. Okay. All right. We're doing vocabulary tonight. All right. So, Roman, what do we know about division? Uh, it's, what, do you, um, what do you remember? That it's, um, you can count, like, if it's like 15 divided by 3, 3, 6, 9, about 15, it would be 5. So, what number it lands on, it would be that number. Okay, so let's say 50 divided by, let's say 10. How about that? So, 10. we can count by 10s, right? Equals 5, right? So this large yeah. number, the biggest number, that's the dividend. Dividend. So think about it. That's like a big check that you get maybe for, for a holiday or something like that. That's your big Chris, Christmas gift or nice. Hanukkah gift. So that's the big piece. And then you say, I got $50 to spend, but I'm going to split it up and buy 10 things. So you're going to, that becomes the... Divisor. So you're going to divide the dividend, and at the end, whoop, that gets you the quotient. Wow, look at all that. Do you see that, Sweet Pea? Yeah. Okay, so your dividend is going to be your largest number, your greatest okay. value, okay? Okay. All right, and your divisor is going to be smaller than that. Sure. And your quotient's what it all ends up with. Okay. Okay? Okay. Did all we right. help you out? What? Did we help you out? Yes. Okay. All right. That'd be like to hear. Are you going to make your own example, or are you going to bring that tomorrow? I'll make my own example. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's my question. All right. Roman, Woo. are you ready to, to pick a prize? Yes. All, all right. right. Here, Here we go. go. Whoa! Pencil pack! Oh, those are great too! Yeah, congratulations, Roman. Roman, we'll send that pencil pack out right to you. Thanks for calling, buddy. Call again, okay? Okay, okay, bye, right. Roman. Okay, so we got Hi. Bobby from Arbutus Middle School. Bobby, are you there? Oh. How's it going, Bobby? I'm going good. All right, how do you like middle school? It's going amazing. Nice, amazing is a good word. Hi, Bobby. So Hi. what's your question for us today, Bobby? 1,000. 24 divided by 25. Wow. 1,024 divided by 20. Sounds like that might be a little tricky. Divided by 25? Yes. Yep. Okay, excellent. So, Bobby, what strategies are your teacher, is your teacher using with you? Um, you he's using the division bar. The, okay, so okay. The algorithm long division? Yes. Excellent. So can you tell me which one of those numbers is the dividend? The dividend is 1,024. Excellent. Does that go inside the, the division bar or outside? It goes inside the division Excellent. bar. Excellent. Very nice. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so then that means the other, what's 25? 25. Do you remember, do you remember what that's called? It goes up, it is the divisor. Very good. There divisor. it is. Excellent. So, Bobby, did I set yes. this up correctly? Are you watching? Yeah, I'm watching. Okay, great. So, how would you proceed with this? I would proceed with um, 25 does not go into 1. Love it. Put an X at the top of the 1. Oh, okay, good. Some of my friends put zeros, but I like the yeah, X also. I got an X in my name. Yes, you do. I like Max. Yeah. 
An X. So 20, does 25, 25 go into go into zero? So you put another X over the zero. Right, because we're looking now. Can 25 go into 10? And that doesn't work either. So uh, now what are we looking it's at? It's like Family Feud. But <laughs> 25 goes into 102, <gasps> and 25 times 4 equals 100. Very good. So where do I place that 4? You place the 4 above the 2. Perfect. Survey says? I think you're trying to take my job. <laughs> yeah, Bobby, you got this down. <laughs> Thank you. 4 times 25, you already told me, was 100. And then yes. what do I do with those two numbers, Bobby? You subtract them. Excellent. So 102 minus 100 is? One, zero. What? It's 102 minus 100. Oh, um, you got <laughs> two, it. You two. Go. And then what's my next step, Bobby? Down the four. Bring Excellent. Down. Bring down the four. And what do I do next? 25 can't go into 24, so it's your remainder. Perfect. Nice. But wait a minute, am I finished? No, you gotta put a you gotta put a zero next to the four. Wait, Excellent. why do you have to put a zero next Good to the four? Good job. Because I was thinking that was unreasonable. I was nervous right. for a second. Because 25 goes into 24 zero times. So I can. Why is it okay to have 24 as a remainder? That's a big number. That is a big number. Because um 240 times 25 equals 1,000 plus 24 gives you the answer. Right. Well, and 24 is a lot, is smaller than 25, right? Yes. So as long as this remainder is smaller than our divisor, that's allowed. Oh, okay. Yep. Good job. So we can write our answer is 40 remainder 24. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to call you Professor Bobby from now on. I agree. Thanks for your help. You helped me. Yeah. All right, Bobby, we're not done yet. Miss okay. Heath, it's okay. time to drop the puck on the puck to take a basketball. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet, the notebook. It's the notebook. Yay. That's a cool little notebook. You it can is a cool notebook. Throw it in your book bag. We'll be back for Congratulations, Bobby. Okay. Have a good night, Bobby. Merry Christmas, Max. Good night. Oh, Merry Aww. Christmas. Good night to you, too, bud. Oh man, we have the best call. Oh, you know what? Speaking of callers, I forgot to say something. Yes. Hey, okay. check out what's on your table over there. I got a little little present for you guys. It's a little little picture of somebody you might know. Oh, I, I love it. it. I it just want to let everybody know out there that who all the callers today are going to be getting that beautiful picture of me. No way. Wow. Along with their prize. Oh, can I and get I one? I, I might even sign it on the back too. <gasps> huh? Oh my I think golly. You should definitely sign it. My oh, name yeah. is Go Math Max, but my friends call me Max. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Of course. So feel free, because I got lots of friends, too. I love that, Max. Awesome. Great <laughs> picture. All right, let's move on. Let's okay. head over to Relay Elementary. Nathan, are you there? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Nathan, are you Bobby's brother? Uh, yes. Oh, cool. Well, Bobby just did a great job. He What's your did. question for us, Nathan? Um, I have 150 times 245. Wow. 150? Yep. Times I got ahead of myself. 150 times? 245. 245. Hey, okay. Nathan, is, is Mr. Burnett your principal? Yes. Oh, you got to tell Mr. Burnett that I said hi. Say, Max from Math Homer Comfort says hi. He's my buddy. Okay. He's my bro. I got you, man. Nice. Okay. Okay, so getting back to the question at hand. Yep. Okay. Okay, excellent. So, Nathan, what strategies is your teacher using with you in class? So, I usually do the st um, standard algorithm. Okay. Works for me. Let's do that. Which number would you like on top? Um, 245. Okay. Perfect. And, Nathan, I switched colors because I was scared that blue was a little light. Is this easier to see? Yep. Okay, I feel like I should have <laughs> moved call. this up higher. <laughs> so when we set this um equation up, I usually if there's a zero um, on the bottom of like 150, uh -huh. I just get that zero because zero times anything equals zero. Oh yeah. So I'll just move on to the five. And That's then before we do anything, we have to end, we have to put a zero. Oh, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. you almost said point. that a word. What was that a word? Oh no, not that word. That what were you gonna At do to? To the zero? No, we, have to, um, 
Oh no, I forgot the word. Um, I heard it coming. I never heard Jody. Whoa. Okay. Do you remember? It'll um, come to you, Nathan. Annex. 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 I love it. I love when my friends use good math vocabulary. Okay, so we're going to annex a zero, correct? Yep. Perfect. Now what are we going to do? Now we're going to do 5 times 5, which Wait. equals 25. Perfect. And then we um, add the 2 up to the 4. Uh, yep, um, I got gotcha. you. We do 5 times 4 equals 20, plus 2 equals 22. Perfect. And I'm going to regroup that 2 again. Yep. And then we do 5 times 2 which equals 10, plus 2 equals 12, and then we just add the 12. Perfect. Okay, so I have to do something else now before I can start multiplying my hundreds place. Oh, you got to take a nap. Uh, we have to um, we have oh. to annex two zeros now. Perfect, because we are in. And the then we then I usually um cross out the twos um, on the top so I don't get confused. Oh. Oh, good idea. You know what? I can do something better. What? I'm just gonna get rid yeah. of them. And like that, Magic. they were gone. But I love your strategy of crossing them out. Okay, so where are we now, Nathan? Wait, what do you say? You just annexed two zeros, right? Yep. So what's the next step? And then we do one times five, which equals five. Perfect. And then we do one times four equals four. Good. And then we do one times two equals two. Perfect. And what do I do with those two very large numbers? We add them up. Got it. So zero plus zero is? Zero. Nice. Five plus zero? Five. Two plus five? Seven. Two plus four? Six. And one plus two? Three. Very and good. I need a comma in there. Where's my comma going to go? Um, between the six and the seven. Perfect. Oh, can you say the number? Or should I say the product? That was my next question. Good job. Um, 36,750. Woo! Perfect. Nice well job. Done. Man, oh man. I tell you, Bobby and Nathan, you guys are some smart kids, man. <laughs> That's Thank a math you. house. They probably practice together, right? Yeah. All right. All right, well, we got something to drop for you, and it's a puck. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, cool. Crazy, crazy 10. Woo -hoo. Congratulations, Nathan. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Nathan, thanks for calling, bud. Call again next week, okay? Yep. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas. you. Are you guys ready for another caller? We are. We are. All right. Emerson from Franklin Elementary School. Emerson, are you there? Yeah. How you doing, Emerson? Good. All right. Hey, did you get snow yesterday? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard there's a little bit of snow around Franklin yesterday. Oh, it's really? exciting. I love wow. snow. Hmm. Except the, the yellow snow. So Stay away from yellow snow. Yes, yellow yeah, snow not is good. very bad. Very not bad. good at all. Right, Emerson? Yeah. Right. Yep. Good. So, all Emerson, right. what is your question for us today? So, there were... Seventy-five toys on the shelf. Seventy-five toys? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay, toys. And then Benny took twenty-seven toys to school. How many toys are left on the shelf? All right, so you said a word in between. Seventy-five toys, and what did he do? So he took He He took them, them right? So twenty-seven. So, so what do you think he's going to have to do? Are we adding or are we subtracting? I think subtracting. You are subtracting. But, as, but at the end, we can to check it. We can add it. Oh, to check it, you yeah. can add it. Absolutely. I love that strategy. Absolutely. So, um, Emerson, what strategy have you been using? How how have you started to subtract? Have you been counting on? Have been using a number line? I've been putting oh. 75 over 27. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> okay. The big leagues. So you've been doing the standard algorithm for subtraction? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That sounds good to me. No problem. All right, so tell me, what, what would you do then, Emerson? Five minus seven. Can you? But do you can't do that. Good. 
So what do we have but to do then? Then you have to pinch the five and two pinch two. I, di I didn't hear you, babe. And the five is the 15. You, okay, but how, are we going, how does the five become a 15? Turn the seven into a six. Because the seven is really a 70, right? So you're going to take 10 away from that and make that into a 60 and make this into a 15. Yes? Yes. Okay, yeah. now what do we do? 15 minus 7. Okay, so 7 plus what is 15? Do you want to count on from 7? I'm sorry? 8. 8. Wow, good job. Okay. All right, what's the next step then, Emerson? 6 minus 2. Which is? 4. 4. So 75 toys minus 27 toys is 48 Eight. Yeah. toys. Still a lot of toys if you ask me. It is a that lot is of toys to take. So there's 48 toys on the shelf. So there's 40, there oh, on the shelf, sorry. On the shelf. You got it, Emerson. Does that help you? Yes, thank oh, you. You welcome. Welcome. I think Emerson might be friends with Nathan. Right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. All, All right. right, Emerson, we're not done yet, though. It is time to drop the puck. Mr. Kara, go for it. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, the notebook. Very cool. Congratulations. Bye. 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 We'll send that right out to you, Kilo. Thanks so much for calling. Thank you. Bye. 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 You know, we use math so many ways in life, not just in math class. Let's head out to the streets of BCPS to see who Maria is talking to now. Oh, I love Maria! Math on the street. Hola, yo soy Maria, and I love math. Here at BCPS, we use math every day, everywhere, and in every office and school. Come with me, I'll show you how. Hola, yo soy Maria, and today I'm here with Officer Brown, a Baltimore County School Resource Officer. Officer Brown, can you tell me how the police department uses math? Uh, hola, Maria, uh, sure. Uh, math is used all the time. Uh, you know the most important job of a police officer is to keep people safe. Mm -hmm. uh, one example is to be sure folks are driving safely. Did you know that we can calculate speed with a simple formula? No. Can you tell me how? Sure. Now, normally, we use technology to track people's speed, like a radar gun. But if you really want to impress your friends, the formula for calculating speed is speed equals distance divided by time. So here's an example. Say we drive 60 miles, and it takes about one hour. We know the distance and the time, so speed equals distance divided by time. Speed equals 60 miles per hour divided by one hour. Uh, we're gonna keep the time in hours because we drive miles per hour. So 60 divided by one equals 60 miles per hour. Oh, I see. Can we do another? Okay, so let's say we drive 80 miles and it takes one and a half hours. So, speed equals 80 miles per hour divided by one and a half hours, which would be 1.5 hours. So 80 miles divided by 1.5 hours equals 53 miles per hour. Perfect, you got it. And, that, and it looks like those speeds are pretty safe uh, for traveling. Wow, that sure was fun. Well, thank you, Maria, for stopping by and please stay safe and come back again. Gracias, adios. Adios. May I tell you what? Math is everywhere. You know what I mean? It is, and it's super fast. Yes, it is. Yes. Very fast. Sometimes Math. over 88 miles per hour. <laughs> Great Scott. All right, let's move on. Jacqueline from Featherbed, are you there? Yes. Hi, Hi Jacqueline. Jacqueline. How's it going, Jacqueline? Good. Good. So I have a question. Is your school very light? Um, no. <laughs> uh, that's why, that's why I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to figure out the name. Okay, well, anyway, Jacqueline, what is your question for us today? Okay, it says, Mr. Diaz ordered a supply of 
1,800 pencils. He wow. wants to divide them equally among his class and five other art classes. How many pencils does each class receive? Okay, so he wants to divide them between his class and five other classes? Yep. Perfect. So how many classes is that all together that's getting pencils? Um, six. six. Yep. Six. Perfect. Good job. Well, right, because it's his class plus and five others. Yes. yes. One plus five, six. That Every word time. and is very important. Yeah. So Jacqueline, what type of strategies are you using in class right now? Huh? What type of strategies is, are, is your teacher teaching you in class? Are you doing the standard algorithm? Um, we're doing divide mentally. Oh, yes. perfect. Okay, that's great. So, so we're using some basic facts Right, here. so we're using basic facts. So what would your basic fact be in 1,800? Look at your first two numbers. Um, we're going to look at only the digits that are not zeros. I know the comma can throw you off sometimes. Okay, yeah, so 18? we have yep, 18, there you go. good. So we're going to divide 18 divided by 6. Do you know what times 6 equals 18? 3. 3, perfect. Very good. But we're not just talking about 3, right? We're talking about 1,800. So what do I need to do with those zeros? Um, add the zero. Wait, you annex the zero to the three. Right, because you don't add it. them. You don't add zero. More zeros. good vocabulary. Right. I love it. So that means each class will get 300 pencils. Wow. I need 300 pencils in my class. That would be great. We can all, maybe we'll all get them. Yes, that I would be I think you fabulous. could build a classroom with 300 pencils. We could. And they'll Stack be gone them. by next week. Yes. Ah. <laughs> and yeah. then, oh, oh. there's more. And then after that problem, it says, if Mr. Diaz stores the pencils, so each class will receive new pencils five times a year, how many pencils are handed out five times? Oh, five times a year now. Five times a year. Wow. So they wow. don't get all 300 pencils at once. I, where does he teach? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty smart. So is it, it so... Are you asking how many pencils in total or how many pencils per class? Um, how many pencils are handed out per each of the five times? Per class? There you go, per class. Each of the five times. Yeah. Okay. Do you yeah. Think so? Okay, so, well, we could do that a couple different ways. What operation do you think we're going to use? Uh... Division. Okay, so we have 300 pencils. No. Okay. Uh, I see a special word up there that uh -huh. really says boop, boop, boop. Multiplication? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so are we, I'm going to say we're probably still doing mental math, right? Looks pretty right, right, Jacqueline? I think so. So we're going to use our basic math facts again. Yes. 5 plus 3, or 5 times 3. Which is what? It's eight. Five oh, times eight. three. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, no. I had to correct myself. Fifteen. 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 And then what do we have to do to those two zeros? Annex them. Yep. Excellent. And I'm going to put my comma right between my one and my five. And we have 1,500 pencils. That is a lot of pencils. Wow. 300 pencils five times a year. So each five class gets 1,500 pencils a, a year. year. Wow. So did we help you out, Jacqueline? Yes. Okay, no more parts? Uh, Does that no. solution make sense in, in your answer? Did we just want to make sure we're answering the right part of the question. Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. All right. Okay. Perfect. Well, that's a lot of pencils. That is a lot of pencils. It is. All right, kiddo, we're not done with it yet. We got a lot of prizes over here, too, so let's give one to you. 
Go All ahead, right. Ms. Hayes. Here we go. Okay. I really want the notebook or the pencil craft. How oh. about the crazy pen? Oh, I already have that crazy pen. Oh, well, oh. if you already have it, we'll get What did you want? Well, I wanted uh, the notebook. All the right. Notebook. We'll send you the okay. notebook. Okay. We'll no make problem. a note of that. Make note of that, please, director. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It has been done. Thanks for calling me, okay, kiddo. Thank you. Bye. You are Bye. Okie dokies. So, you guys ready for another caller? Yes, we I sure think we are. Haiti, are you there? Yes, we are. Haiti, are you there? Yes. Hey, Haiti, do me a favor. Turn your TV down so you can just hear us through the phone, okay? Okay. All right, we'll wait because I will do my awesome dance while we wait. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> 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 Woo, fluffy. All right. Are you all set, Haiti? Yeah. Haiti? All right, Haiti. Here we go. What's your question, kiddo? Um. Jason, Joseph has 20. Joseph has 270 hockey cards to arrange equally in nine boxes. Each box can hold the same number of cards. How many cards should Joseph put in each box? Solve this problem using any strategy you choose. Okay, so he has 270 cards and he needs to divide them into boxes? Yes. He had yes. nine boxes? Haiti, I think you need to turn your TV down again, honey. Make it make it lower, the volume. Yeah. There's a bit of a delay. Delay. Yeah. Delay. Sorry, I have my um the like loudspeaker thing. Ah. On uh, my well, phone, so well, turn oh. Well. We'll see what we can do. We'll try our best. Okay, so two hundred and seventy okay, cards. Has, it, it, yeah, he has nine boxes. Nine mm -hmm. boxes. Excellent. Okay. So what does this sound like? What operation do you think we'll have to do? Um, it's either multiplication or division. Okay, so if he has 270 cards and he's splitting them into nine different boxes, do you think it's going to grow in size or get smaller in size? Smaller in size. Smaller. So we're going to multiply or divide? Multiply. Well, if, we want, if it's going to get smaller... Oh, no, then division. Yeah, there you yeah go. we're going to divide. Absolutely. And again, I am seeing a basic fact here. Do you see a basic fact? Uh, two times nine. Okay, well, we're, we're, we're dividing. Okay. So I want you to look at these first two digits and look at this. How do 27 and 9 go together? Um, Think to yourself, 9 times what number 27 equals? 27 is a 9 fact? It is. Nine times what equals 27? If you counted? Nine, nine times three? Yeah. Very good. There you go. So nine times three. So if nine times three is 27, then we have three, and then we have to, don't forget about our zero to annex our zero, we have 30. So two, 270 divided by nine is 30. 30. So 30 cards per box. Okay. Do you see? Yes. That help Did you? It? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Do you know what you need to do? Uh, drop the punk. Yeah. Yes. There we go, Mr. Right. Para. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, the slide. The Finally. We'll send Long that sign right out to you. And make sure you tell your teacher that it came from Math Homework Helpers. They love it mm. so much. Oh, yeah. Woo All righty. Have a good night, kiddo. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Man, that slime is fun. Do you guys like slime? We, no, we, ah! I like, <laughs> catching I'm not off sure guard. how to answer that. Yeah. Yes. I like when my daughter makes it at home, yeah. but not ah. when my students bring it to and school. And keeps it at home. Ah, yes. yes. Mm. Yeah. Well, good point. Yeah. Bennett, are you there? Yeah. How's it going? Hi. Uh, Hi, Bennett. Oh, Hi. we know that Bennett's on the phone, not Tori. Yeah. I think that thing was wrong. That's okay. So, Bennett, what's your question for us today? Um, 40 times 5 plus 57. Ooh. 40 oh. 
40 times 5. Oh, 40 times 5 plus? 57. 57? Yep. Oh, I like that one. Me too. Okay, so, Bennett, can I ask you a question? Are you what? learning about order of operations right now? Yeah. Ah, okay, perfect. So, what am I going to do first? Am I going to do the multiplication first or am I going to do the addition first? You're going to be doing 40 times 5. Ah, excellent. Ah. Okay, so 40 times 5, we keep getting that basic math fact here. Have you been watching, Bennett? Say that one more time. Have you been watching the show all night, all evening? Yeah. Okay, so you've heard us talk about those basic math facts, right? Yeah. Excellent. So here I see my basic math fact, 4 times 5, which is what? 20. Very good. Very nice. But I have the zero here. What do I have to do with that zero? You have to put the zero in the 20. Excellent. So I'm annexing that second zero, and that means I have 40 times 5 is 200. So now I'm going to add that to 57. Plus 57. Yeah. There you go. So what is 200 plus 57? 257. Excellent. Oh, you're so excited job, too. Bennett. I love it. 257. Perfect. Did we help you? Yes. Yeah. Nice. You know what time it is then? What time is it Stop. for? Pop the pick up. There it, is. it is a little tricky to say sometimes. It is. It, it is, is very tricky. All right, Bennett, are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we Bennett. Go. I'm going to go over here. I haven't started over here yet. Oh. And the slime. There it, it is. is. All right, Bennett, we'll send that slime right out to you, buddy. Oh. Way to go, Bennett. Thanks for calling, bud. Bye, Bennett. Bye, Bennett. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Uh, before we take our next caller, we're going to head out to one of our very own Baltimore County Public Schools and check in for a Mighty Math Minute. Sounds great! Hi, my name is Brandon and this is your Mighty Math Minute. Mighty Math Minute! Today I'm doing the distributive property. The array is seven times six, but I, but I broke the array into two smaller arrays. The first array is five times six, and the second array is two times six. Five times six equals 30, and two times six equals 12. So 30, 30, plus 12, 12 equals 42. So, seven times six equals 42. And that's how you do the distributive property. Mighty Math Minute! I say this a lot, but I think it is the coolest thing when kids teach math. It is. You know Absolutely. what I mean? It and is. honestly, they've been doing it on our show today all day yeah, long. They have been. We got some smart callers. We, Speaking we of smart callers, Tori, are you there? Hi, Tori. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hi, oh. Tori. Woo. How are I you? I thought a horse was running after us. Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. Tori, do you have a question today for us to help you with? Yes. Okay. It is 41 times times 9. 9? Yes. Is that it? Mm, yes. Okay. okay. Just, I'm just making sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Okay. So, um, Tori, what have you uh, been learning to do? What would you do here? Algorithm. I'm sorry? Algorithm. Algorithm. The, al the algorithm. The algorithm. Okay, so the straight algorithm, no partial products, no area models, just a straight algorithm. No yes? light bulbs. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, Tori, what will we do first, sweetie? We do, we do one times one times two times one. Yep, you stay in, in the ones. You Nine times one is? Nine times one is um, 
is nine. Yeah. Good job. Because anything times one is itself, right? Okay, so, so now you have to multiply the ones by the? By the four. By the tens, yep. So nine times four is? Nine times four, nine times four is 36. 36. There you go. Very good. So we multiplied the ones, we multiplied the tens, so we have it all. So your, your product is? 30, no, it's 359. There you go. 369, yes. 369. Yes. Does that look good to you, Tori? Yes. Looks okay. good to us, too. Cool. All right. You know what else looks good? That puck to pick a prize wall. Mr. Sure Kara. does. Hey, here we go, Tori. A lot of callers today, a lot of prizes. Oh, the crazy Woo! What did I win? What was it again? Oh, the crazy pen. The crazy, crazy pen. pen. Wow, it is one crazy pen. It's one crazy day. It is. All right, Tori, thanks for calling, kiddo. All right. Oh. Bye. 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 All right, you guys ready for another caller? We are. We are. Let's see. Amya, are you there? Uh. Hello, Amya. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, How oops. are you? Good. Good. You have a math problem for us today? Yes. Perfect. Oh, right. you come to the right place. What is it? So, um, do you have the papers? Because it doesn't say the number. Uh, we don't have the paper with us today. If you, you know, read it to us nice and slowly, we could probably figure it out. Or we could do uh, something very similar, Or too. something similar, <laughs> sure. Okay. Go ahead, Amaya. It says how many square houses is in the, in built in City A. How many city houses? Okay, do you have a picture of City A? Uh, city A has 45. Excellent. Okay. What? And what's the second part of the question? How many fewer houses were built in City A than City B? Okay. Okay. And how many are in City B? 70. 70. 70. I like how you label everything. Okay. It works so yes. nicely. Keep your ideas organized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Very I right. heard a magic word there, mm -hmm. Amaya. Do you know what the magic word is I heard? What did you say? The magic it, word? The, the it, magic word? I thought that was fewer. please. That will tell fewer. fewer. Excellent. Oh. So what does the word fewer tell us to do? It's telling us to add. To add? Yeah. Well, you can add on. I can add on, but that work. you gotta add on from forty-five Ooh. more to six, seven. Okay. Okay, we can certainly do that. So, what strategies are you using at school to add on? Are you drawing pictures? Are you using a number line? Mm -hmm. Are you skip counting? Skip counting. Oh, excellent. All right. So, would you like to skip count by fives? Yes. Okay, perfect. And we need to get to 70, correct? Yes. Okay. okay. Let's start skipping. Let's skip. So 45. So 45. Help me skip. If you said 40, 45. Uh, 55. 50. Well, 50 then. Then. We're going to go, f we're going to do five. So then 50 and then another five would be 55. Five. There you Perfect. Go. And then another five would be yeah. 60. 60. And then another five would be 65. And then that last five is going to get us to 70. So Yay. now, yay. <laughs> we're here. But now, so we're done. No, <laughs> just kidding. Now we have to figure out how many fives we have, right? Mm -hmm. okay, okay. So we're going to count by fives again. I like that. So this is going to be five. This hump or jump or skip will be ten. Five. Our ten. next. Go ahead. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Keep going. Twenty. 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 One more. One more. Twenty. Twenty-five. There it Twenty-five. Is. five. <laughs> so, so it looks like City A has twenty-five fewer houses 
than city B. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? I have another equation. Do you have time? You have time. another time. equation? Time. Yeah, we got time. Are you kidding me? Time? We have we time. Of course we do. Sure. Go ahead, Amaya. What's up? So I said, how many houses are lighting was using by locker room and swimming pool together? Okay. Oh, okay, dokes. All right. Is, is this the light one? Yes. Okay. So tell me, remind me, what were the numbers again? This is a different one. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Somebody's been watching so, the whole show. <laughs> so the other, then the locker, no, the lighting has the locker room. The locker room has how many hours of lighting did they use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hours. Mm -hmm. And I was the other one still the swimming pool? Yes, the swimming pool has five. Oh, I think this looks pretty familiar. It, it does look a little yes. familiar, right? And then what do we need to find out? How many are there together in all? Oh, okay, together in all. What is that going to tell us to do? Press add. Yes. Perfect. So do you want to count on again? Yes. All right, so we're going to start with nine, okay? And last time I drew those light bulbs, yeah. Max made fun of me. I'm not going to call them again. I didn't mean to make fun of you. I just <laughs> thought they looked more like turkey legs than like bulbs. That's all. <laughs> we'll just do circles now. Nine. Okay, nine. Okay, nine. Count. And I have to add on five more. So after nine comes ten. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. And that's your five. Okay, so nine, uh -huh. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 hours of lighting were used mm -hmm. between the locker rooms and the swimming pool. There it is, lighting. Did we help you out? Yes. Oh, All right, well now awesome. it is time to drop that puck. Ready? Drop the, <laughs> what do you I'm gonna do? Ooh, the pencil pack. Woo! There you go. Oh, I like that pencil pack. Yes. Awesome. We will send that pencil pack right out to you. Okay, kiddo? Yeah. Thanks for calling. All right. Wow. All right. That was a lot of work, but it, that was a lot of cool results, I think. It was. It was, Max. All right, moving on. I think we have time for a couple more. Jason okay. from Norwood, are you there? Hi, Jason. Hi. How are you? Good. 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 What is your math question for us today? How It says, how many fewer houses were built in city A than city e D? Okay, this sounds so familiar. Do we um, have the slides still? I, well, I think we do. I think we do. Maybe we can solve it a different way this time. Oh, yeah. Is Ooh. this what you had? Did you have city A is 45 and city B is 70? Jason? City A, I have 41, and City B, I have 70. 41 you had. All yeah. right. Well, let's work with that. Okay, that's going to be different then. It is All right. different. All right, so the magic word was fewer. What operation did that tell you to do, Jason? Um... Do we add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Add. Mm, well, we can add on, but when we see the word fewer, it really means to subtract. Okay. okay. There you go. So you said 40, uh, city A had 41, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, um, Jason, would you like to subtract, or would you like to add on to find the difference? Subtract. You'd like to subtract. And how have you been subtracting? What would you do? Would you use a no? Go ahead. Standard algorithm. 
the standard algorithm. Okay. All right. Well, that's very different than the last time we did something like yeah. this. Yes. So now two di two totally different ways. Okay. So Jason, what would you do here? I would do forty-one. Sub subtract. Well, we're not going to take anything from forty-one. We're going to have to use the larger value, which is seventy, and subtract forty-one from that larger value. Okay. Okay. So if you, can, if you see the screen, can, can you take one from nothing? Can you take one from zero? If I have zero cookies, Jason, can I give max one? I, you zero can. plus one? So, so Max, if there's nothing, you can't take anything from it, right? right so you're going to have to regroup. You're going to have to get some from someplace else. And the only place you can get it in 70 is from the 7. So you need to regroup and pull out a 10 from that 7. So it's okay. really, OK? So that leaves you with 60 and 10. So 60 plus 10 is 70. So the value is still there. All right? OK. OK. So now what do you do? I subtract 70. Well, you just subtract. So, so, so look, what, what, do you see the screen? Let's start with our ones place. Yes. OK. OK, I'm going to do a different. So in our ones place, we have a 10 okay, so this is and ones. a 1. And this is 10s. Do you see that? Yes. OK. So you have 10 and a 1. So 10 take away 1. 10 minus 1 is, if you count back 1 from 10. 9. 9. Good. Perfect. All right. Now we're done with our 1s. Now let's go to our 10s. We have 6 10s minus 4 10s. So 6 minus 4 is 4, count on to 6. Ooh. Two. Yeah. Good. There Good you job. go. All right. Now so we're we talking. Have 29. So 70 minus 41 is 29. So there's 29 fewer houses. Does that help you out, Jason? Does that help, Jason? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we're not done with it yet. I think this might be our last puck. Here we go. All right. Here Mr. Karen Drop Dev. Day. Definitely. I like these. Jason, thank you for calling in, bud. And call, call again next week, too, okay? Well, kids. Okay. Bye, bye. bye, bye Jason. Jason. Well, kids, that's all the time we have for this episode, but be sure to tune in next week. And remember, we do re air each episode, so be sure to watch. You can even watch these episodes online on our YouTube page. Fancy. Check it out, and be sure to tell your friends to watch, too. We look forward to seeing, you ev uh, seeing everybody again next time. Only, Only here, here on, on BCBS TV. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.